TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue. To grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see a little warning screen, man. We might need it, man. There's a lot of sensitive subjects going on and people talking and giving their opinions on it. Uh, we also got Patreon. We post it on there five days a week. Where you That's stuff you can't watch on YouTube. And Twitch.com, you know. Username's at the bottom of the screen. Uh, this is England. England burning. Enough is enough. I know there's a lot of stuff going on in England right now. And today's the day I'm going to check it out, man. 50-hour video by Wesley Winter. Salute for him for being on that uh, New Age journalism, being on the ground and putting in that work to get the up and close personal, up close and personal story. Anyway, talk to me. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Talk to me, Wesley. Honestly, this is going to be my first look at whatever's going on in London. Like I, I know all the backstories. I know what's the reasoning but I haven't looked at any videos yet to see what's actually like all the rioting and and things of that nature everybody's telling me though but you know I was waiting on a good little video that got some that wasn't with the new with the old media because they distort and disconfigure stories and show what they want to I needed the new age media to show me Tonight, I'll be joining the protest at Downing Street in response to the murders of three children in Southport. While I don't agree with the riots that occurred after, it's clear that the public are angry and had enough. I'm making this video as I was at Trafalgar Square the other day and people told me that they were scared for their children. We're just thinking the safety of my children, my grandchildren. And mothers and fathers that are concerned for the children and their future generations. And ultimately it's all about protecting. I heard about the three children passing away, but like what, I, didn't, I don't know the full story either on that. I just know three children passed away in police custody or something, I don't know. Somebody clarify for me the welfare of our children. I didn't fully grasp what they meant until the next morning when I read the news of a man murdering three children. The mainstream media have been spreading lies. No, I'm capping. I do know what happened. I do know what happened. Ain't that when um, Buddy went to the dance class? Yeah, I know it. Okay. Is calling these grieving people part of the EDL. The EDL doesn't even exist anymore. So tonight we're going to humanize these people and get a real understanding to why they're here. Let's go. Well, guys, I'm just on my way to Downing Street, and just in front of me, I see a huge cordoned off line of police officers. It seems like the protest is already here. So, yeah, I feel like a big turnout is going to come today. I think around hundreds and hundreds of people come to, come to share their voice. Let's go. And right by uh, Big Ben and everything. Yeah, a lot of police here, as you can see. Line of officers must be at least, must be at least 20. Jesus Christ, what's going on? Yeah. So yeah, looks like- I'm not gonna lie, my boy. I, I don't even message the police like that. They would have did that behind me. I would have started running. <laughs> Let me get as far as possible away from them. I don't even, yeah. I don't even play like that. Looks like, uh, something's going on. These guys singing for Tommy Robinson. So can you explain to you why are you here today? Just to make a stand for all these sick governments that are running the country at the minute. They're letting kids getting stabbed. They're letting people over on boats. Don't get me wrong, 
I ain't the, one of these people that says don't let them over because some of them, if it weren't for some immigrants, we wouldn't have this country. But what, what is this narrative that mi migrants are the ones causing all this trouble? Murders happen everywhere, but all sorts yeah, of people. It's, it's, we're happening with everyone, but the frequent amount of them is with these sort of people that are coming over. They live in countries where it's acceptable to rape girls and treat girls like shit, and kids for that matter. And, and they're coming over to here, they're trashing our country and just, they're treating it like their own, you know what I mean? Is it yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, there should be no learning curve. There should be no, oh, I'm the police, we're accepting of the learning curve, the government. Oh, it's, it's different over there, so they'll adjust. No, no, no. <laughs> if they haven't adjusted in 0. 0.2 seconds, you, you got to arrest people. People need to go to jail. Especially for the stuff that they do, like the stuff that certain people are doing, allegedly. I don't know how to phrase these things. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? But like, the stuff that this gentleman has laid out that is being done, if it happens in this country, or the UK, it needs to be punished swiftly. Set some examples. Is this a response to the Southport incident that happened the other day? All that laxed police, all that laxed um, government. What could the UK very lax sentencing? Nobody cares about getting in trouble in the UK as it is. So this can't be one of these times. No. Technically, yeah. I'd, to be honest, I didn't know it was happening until yesterday. So we're down in for work. We'll come and make a stand. Power to the people. There's three or four officers arresting someone. Leave him. Leave him. A complete different mood here today compared to what happened the other day in Trafalgar Square. The people are angry. It's not really kind of a happy march today. It's more about anger and I guess protesting against the police as well. And honestly, I, what I've seen so far in Leeds and in Southport, I can't imagine the police actually handle this crowd. Now you, I feel like you gotta have the right officers out there as well. You can't have no ego tripping officers out there, man. This is a volatile situation. Hi, right, mate. I see you getting some stick from the from the officers. Why are you here today, mate? Oh, we're here for the stabbings of the kids the other day. Yeah. 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 Hundred percent. Two agree. tier policing in it. One up Leeds, Harefields have run away. Look at what they're doing to the English born people. Is this, do you think it's going to be a peaceful march tonight or what do you think is going to happen tonight? Well, if the police keep abusing their powers, then it's going to turn physical, ain't it, you know? But if they just let us peacefully protest, yeah. and then it should be all right. But, you know, it is what it is. Where's this on anyway? YouTube, mate. Where's the YouTube, yeah? yeah? Yeah, I'm sick of all this fucking media chatting shit. Oh, they're fucking oh, shit. That's what we need to Exactly. And that's the precise reason I, I waited for somebody, a uh, new age civilian media outlet to go cover it. Because I didn't want to hear the, boop, the BS. <laughs> In journalism. Cheers, mate. Thank yes, you. mate. Boring. Well, so as we're walking, we're getting escorted in a way to Downing Street. I think that's where the protest is going to end up. But man, look how many officers there are. Must be at least 20 to 50 just on this street alone. I think they're going to need hundreds to handle this lot. I mean, look, you can't even see past the crowd. I've already seen one arrest. But, wow, guys with the baddies. Wow, someone been arrested again. Second person I've seen now. I don't know why they need about 20 people to arrest someone. So power. Wow. Don't know why they've arrested him, but yeah. The guy in the back. I guess this is what they've been trained to do. I will say this. This is probably a spooky thing for them. Being around this many people and having the police at the same time and arrest and do all of this stuff. I don't care. This is the job that they chose, but I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. Balaclava. I don't think this is going to stay very neutral or calm at all. I mean, it's only been about 10 minutes since I've been here already. I think they're just trying to block them off. I don't know what the purpose of this is, but look at all the police. Even more coming down their vans. Yeah, guys, wow. It's crazy.
honestly, the noise is the noise is crazy. You can't even like hear yourself speak. The closer you I've never been a part of anything like this. Like I've never been on the ground. Like any riots, any protests, nothing. You get to this crowd. Wow. Even more police. Look at the police presence here. Wow. Excuse me, I've told you once. You told me once. You've spoken to me. Hey lads, I'm, I'm here with YouTube. Do you mind saying a few words about why you guys are here? Yeah, we're here today to protest against the butchering of our children, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. The uncontrolled immigration. Um, the, well, should I say illegal immigration. Um, the government are doing nothing about it. They're letting people walk around in our streets, killing people, killing children. And to be honest, this is our 9-11. God damn. I mean, this is a valiant reason. I'm not even going to hold you. Buddy walked in there and did that to them kids. Yeah, we'll be outside all night and day. I'm not saying we'll be outside all night and day peacefully. I'll be down peacefully for whatever. 100% peaceful, yeah. You see us just trying to break no, People are angry and they got yeah. the right to be angry. It, 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 but they need to take it out on the right people. Yeah. Take not it the out police. on the police is not, not the right fair. people. You need yeah. to take it out on councillors. You need to take it out on MPs. Yeah. 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 You need to go to the right We've people. We've tried to vote is, out of it, but yeah. the reform thing, we got it, is, uh, is this, is this a response of, uh, what, four seats, was it? Five yeah. seats? Is this a response to what happened in Southport today? Yes, 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 it is. this more the final straw? It's a solidarity for the children that died, the people that are Attacked, and to be honest, anyone that's been attacked through legal immigration, that our, this government, not our government, this government has been allowed to sort of... And the oh. last government, we're not yeah. blaming it no. all yeah, on yeah. Labour, it's yeah. Tory. But guys, it's but guys after tonight, the media's going to tarnish this and call this lot EDL. EDL. What, what do you have to say to that? EDL gonna, doesn't exist, it died he, 10 years ago. People don't believe the media anymore. Yeah. They don't watch the news. I don't watch the news. Yeah. news. Yeah. Don't watch the media. I haven't watched the news in... I haven't watched the news since probably 2000. Uh, I'm not even going to lie. Uh, I, I'd rather just come to YouTube and if anything is going on, I'd just rather watch not the news tell me. I don't want the news to tell me because they be, they be I don't doing the news. Most. I don't care what they say. I believe what I believe and I'm going to say what I want. All right, guys, we're going in. We're coming into the the mix of it. It's almost like riot police. They've got shields on. Hey, buddy, I saw you last time. How are you doing? Why are we here tonight? System is finished. System failure. Government is not working. Authority is not working. People are dying. The matter is not about. Matter is not the illegal immigrants. Matter is spineless politicians. Bro, tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. I'm, I'm guess I'm guess you are you're Indian. Is this a racist mark? Why are the people here? Is this doing? It's racism? not about racist. It's nothing. It's about the lives of our kids who are losing their life without any cause. Young kids just died. For who? And they are still sleeping. Yeah, nah. This will piss me all the way off. I'll be too tight about this. I'll be outside, especially now because I'm a father. But but any any kid getting hurt or losing their life senselessly. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make, because of something that could be stopped or something that could be easily regulated, I'm, I'm going to be tight about it. The system is failed. Whole system is fucked up. That need to be changed. All right, so we saw the murders that happened in Southport. Is this the reason why all these people are here today? Yeah, listen, we're, we're fed up. We need to show unity against knife crime, against unwanted immigration coming into the country. They're not vetted, you know, but what's happening now, this is the major thing. You see certain organisations, they're minute. What you've got coming out now is a working class man. The man who won't watch his telly, who's been force fed. This factual stuff about being a racist and about a bad history. And you know what? A, a lot of Americans are going to be like, man, what? we don't got no problem with it. Man. We don't got no problem with it. But, but, but the reason we don't have no problem with it is because the immigrants that come into America are mo like not all, but mostly from where? Mexico. We love the Mexicans. We love them. Like they got sense coming in. They got. They know what's what's right and what's wrong. Some of, like like they said early in this video, some of these countries, this the stuff that's happening is okay to them. 
we could never relate because the UK is in the middle of everybody comes to the UK. I feel like America is a secondary thought. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let's go to America. For what? The UK right here. You know what I'm saying? Europe's right here. Why would they come here? We couldn't relate. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not the same. Our immigration problems are not theirs. That's why we're so welcoming and forthcoming. Oh, yeah. You come through. But we're not dealing with the same countries, though. Majority. And they're the ones that are coming out, they'll be the strong ones. The men who own their families, working men who don't do none of the small stuff. This is what edge of turning now, because we're playing identity politics. But I'm sick of people blaming race and religion. You look at all the murders that have happened in England and in London. There have been all kinds of sorts you, of people. Yeah, but you've well, you got, you got to talk not sensitive and factual. Look at every city in England. Look at the crime rate and who's committing it. If you want to talk the whole of England, then your case comes in. But at the moment, we've got cases the last two, three weeks where other faiths have butchered and it's being covered up and it's not right. Now, let me tell you something, brother. Do you want to sit on a train? and have to decide whether someone's going to be dangerous or not. You shouldn't be doing that. That's a fray. Now, mum was... God, I did that every time I hopped on the train in, in for Chicago. But the difference is, I had my blick on me. So, once again, it's not the same out there. And brothers, if you want to change that, you do more work in your own community. Because it ain't on. The main point that I've heard so far that people are angry. Basically, enough is enough is, uh, is the main thing. Put the mic up. You did it like a criminal here, and criminals are roaming around freely with machetes, and you are here with the right gear to yeah. stop us. That's no, right. it's not right. That's right. Yeah. It's not yeah. right. We yeah, are law-abiding right. citizens. Our kids are being killed, and we are being stopped. No. Government, yeah? Do They've all got a house on a mortgage. They've all got a car on credit. You can't get the sack. You can't pack your job in because you lose your f***ing house. You lose your car, your wife, your kids. Everything. Financially tied and that's up. what they've done. They've f***ing got your mortgage up your eyeballs. So you're all scared now and you do as you're f***ing told. You're protecting this f***ing terrorism. Look up the word terrorism, yeah? And it describes everything in that f***ing building over there. I really... I don't think but see now this 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 is what I be talking about these this the cop right here that should not be here because buddy's in here over here laughing there's nothing funny scared now and you stop laughing <laughs> nobody else laughing dude you're fucking told I really don't think this is going to end tonight. I think this is going to go on to maybe midnight. It's only been about half an hour, 40 minutes. And I just feel that people are just getting more and more angry. Beer's getting thrown everywhere. You know. Whoa, whoa, here come the police. This is gonna be crazy. Oh, he just slotted him right in the head. This is not gonna win. It's a highly volatile situation. We saw what happened in Leeds. We saw what happened in Southport. I honestly don't. Then people walking around drinking at the same time. You adding alcohol to this already volatile situation. And the police are going to be able to handle this crowd. And man, look how it goes all far down. They're cordoned in. And all the way to this side. Hey, mate, do you agree with all the violence that's happening at the minute? Go, mate. Do you agree with all the violence up? There's no violence. The only violence is happening is by the police. Yeah. That's the only violence the police are provoking. Mm. It should be freedom of speech and freedom to walk on our streets. We're English. It's yeah. our country. What do you want to say to the people? I want to say to the people, stop the killing of our kids. Stop the killing of our kids. Yeah. And that's the reason why... I'm stop the boats and stop the killing of our kids. Illegal immigrants, asylum seekers are killing our kids. It's not why our, for our forefathers fought for this country. Not all of them, but, but a few bad apples have sullied the entire tree. We know that. Yeah. I mean, I see if your shield. Do you think you'll need that tonight? Well, look, let's hope not. But who knows? I think. It what the hell, broker? Is this Arthur Shelby? 
Give it, uh, this is in case there's any little like, silly one, ideas like little Antifas. Any, uh, anyone who gets any silly ideas like that more than anything. It's not intentionally come out, obviously, for, for looking for any trouble at all. More than anything, it's to show my patriotism to my country. Yeah. And I I'm deeply concerned about my country and the way we're going. Enough is enough, isn't it? Enough is enough. Well, people are breaking through the barriers now. They're very angry. Police are pushing people to the side. I don't know what's happening. Not gonna lie, he does a fairly good job of like stopping people, having a conversation, and also scanning for something else to film at the same time. But while respecting what they're what the person who's talking is saying. They're trying to block them in, I don't know why. We're just crossing the road, I don't know why it's an issue we cross the road. I don't know what's the issue with crossing the road. The barrier is falling down, I don't know why the This man's screaming our kids. I don't really understand what the point of the barrier is because no one's really doing anything. They're just standing there. Obviously, people. Are I don't understand the point of the barrier either, especially when the street is already blocked off from through traffic. You might as well just let the people walk and do. I, I guess they're keeping them from these buildings over here. Angry and frustrated, almost like a zoo. This lady just said, why have you got batons? And yeah, it hasn't been violent at all yet. I don't know why they're smiling and have these batons with them, but yeah. Wow. Yeah, see, that's the part that be irritating me. I'm telling you. People, police smiling. Smiling in general in this situation. And then pulling out batons and smiling while you're doing it. It's giving off like, I'm ready. I'm, I want this. Get what they want. We do dialogue. So now what? Do we beat them up? That's what choice have we got? What's left? No. Everyone else beats them up. You can't be like that. You can't be like because that. Because we're losing different. though, bruv. And no. they're winning. It's very hurting. I was crying. We're myself. losing. It's very hurting. I was crying. I was shedding tears. I was crying. Every day I see young lads dying on the street from my crime. three babies stabbed by that clown the other day. We got to do and something. And we take it and we take it. I know. I no know. one else takes it. They fight these fuckers. So what do we do? We fight them. No, we, that's don't, how we, we, win. Don't, we don't approach violence with violence. Say, no. That's how we Hold win. On. It's no Martin Luther King speeches over here, boy. They, it's all Malcolm X energy. I'm just, I'm just seeing, I'm just repeating what I'm seeing. We don't approach violence with violence, no. We got, it's, it's, it's all about dialogue. I'm gonna tell you something though, the government better be careful because this is how gangs are formed. You're gonna have new gangs in a minute. You're gonna have new gangs in a minute. You letting you letting people in, right? Cool. Cool. They're doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing, and you're not policing it. So the the natural citizens are getting mad. You're getting mad, right? But are you? Are you and you're, there's not enough of you probably to protect the people that are doing what they're doing. So they're going to eventually figure out how to protect themselves. And arm, you know what I'm saying? That's how that normally happens, if I'm being honest. Origin story. We're allowing so many people in our country that hate us, and it's being hidden. Allegedly. We're, being, we're under attack, right? And we're not allowed to speak out about it. We're not allowed to speak about it. I mean... What kind of democracy is that? Yeah. Yeah. At the moment, it seems a bit like. And a today is for the three poor girls and all the victims of the other day in Leeds. I mean, it's sickening, and all these people want to come out in in battle gear, in battle gear when they couldn't even like defend three little girls, a whole bunch of girls. Disgusting. Yeah, is the anger at the? See? There's gonna be civil war on top of that. You know what I'm saying? Police? Is it the government? Is it also the murder? God forbid. But I'm just saying. It, it's all of it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> where'd you start? Yeah. It's like all of it. All of it. The, the police, they want to...
take a side. They want to take the wrong side. The government, they don't listen to the people. The people that come in the country, they don't like us. So, I mean, the majority are coming in. Yes, there's some good, there's some bad. But the majority that are coming in are wanting to change our values. And it's been hidden under the carpet. People got to wake up to it. There's good immigration. We need to keep a good immigration. We need to keep. It's got nothing to do with the colour of skin, right? It's got nothing to do with where you're from. It's we want nice people that share our values and respect our values and want to come in our country and prosper for doing well, but not come here and take the mickey, take, take, take. He cooking. He's spitting real facts. And then want to destroy our country at the same time. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. Everyone's got to wake up to it. Yeah, so it does feel hostile. The people are angry, but I don't really see the need for the riot gear, you know. I feel like the police are antagonising the public a little bit by kind of cordoning them in. There must be definitely at least 100 officers here now. We all turn out today for our unborn grandkids, our unborn children. We need to make our country safe. Yes! Yes! You, as an English person, colour does not come into me. You should not be feeling unsafe in our motherland. Yes! Yes! yes. Come on! Come on! Certain cultures are not being policed the same way as our culture. We have now entered identity politics. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to keep it real. Buddy does some class A's. 100%. He did a class A. I see it. Hidden different. There's only one way forward with this, and this will be unite. We must unite. Come on! Come on! Correspondence is shared because we now are targeting the hotel owners, the ones who sold out their country. They're the ones to blame. They have blood on their hands. Many people have blood on their hands, ladies and gentlemen, and it's wrong for you to sit back and type a comment and like or dislike a post. It's time to stand like your ancestors did. In the world wars, we did not have phones, devices. Is this your choice of resistance? Their resistance, their choice was unity, community. And that's what made this motherland the best in the world. Now, I ask of you one thing today. It's important, I know frustrations are running high as they should be, but you must remain calm. The fight will be the day that we win, will love, will overconquer the hate. Well done, Ladies and gentlemen, one more thing. Please watch what you are watching on YouTube and social media. I've identified what I call the paper patriots. Their narrative is just to earn money and just promote negativity. We're a positive nation. We must remain positive. We must come together strong, hand in hand, black with white, white with black. Yeah. 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 Christ is king. 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 So it's clear here in the words of the people, the angry, not only at the government and the migrants, but the mentioning. That's intense. But also angry at the police and the way the police handle murders of innocent children and people of the public. And I honestly don't know when this is going to end. This will be going on for all night. You work for us, we pay. What do you do for us? Fuck all. Give our kids to some murderer. What do you do? These are all f***ers. All of them. A load of tosses. Why is that? Is it the way they treat different groups in society? What, what's the reason for that? It's because they're trying to kettle us. They are deliberately trying to cause trouble. Like trying to provoke us. They should just... Move us. Not even going to lie. I, I, I can see that from the other side of the screen like a couple of these officers laughing kiki keying and y'all doing too much
Just sit there with a straight face and do your job and shut and and just do your job. Side and leave us to have our demonstration here. Yeah, like like the Palestinians do. They they don't get pushed around. They don't get bothered. My question is why there wasn't this many police in the Southport incident the other day? Why there's so many police today? You know. Just look around you. Look, just look at the English flags. Look at all the English flags. Right? That's why they're here. It's the government. The government are putting them out here. It's my granddaughter safe for the future. She's only eight. Can I tell her she's safe? Do I have to tell her she can't trust the police to protect her? Do I tell my granddaughter I can't trust the police? And neither can she. Yeah, I ain't even gonna cap to you. I would already tell my daughter something like that. Hey, the police are here to protect and serve, but remember who you are. So be careful. I say that with a grain of salt now. Keep moving out. Keep protecting everyone. Do I tell my granddaughter she not afraid? Don't go to the police for protection. You're a disgrace. Take your armies off and stand with the people. You're disgusting. This is a mix of anger and pain. You can just see what people are shouting at the police. They're angry about the murders, but also they don't, they don't trust the police. The people have lost faith in police officers and protecting the public. Right, so why are you letting us leave? Running away, where was it leaving? Running away. There's a man on the left just down there getting arrested. I don't know what for, but he's been pinned to the ground. We want our country back! So much police here, like we are down. These hats is a little bit... So much police over here, like we are criminals. But these police are not on the roads when people need them. Someone's been taken away. And we get put in the van now. Hey, mate, do you think this amount of police is necessary? Oh, hell no, mate. It's always the way, isn't it? You try it. Wow. So this amount of police are here today. We didn't see this many in Southport, in Leeds, other week. And this isn't even violent. There's no vans being blown up or anything like that. I and this see all that. Police presence that's here today. Wow. Were there riots in the, uh, the other day and uh, and where he was saying they are? Well, you can almost a comment. You can almost like attribute the police presence to that, though. Like, I'm not trying to agree or disagree with the police presence or anything, but I'm just saying, like, if y'all went crazy over here, and this is days in the future, they're gonna be ready for it. But you gotta send your most senior officers, man. A lot of these police officers look like they just just got from behind the grocery store register and, and put on a yellow vest. Like it don't even make it's not making sense. Bully, bully, pedo. He must be one of them. He must be a pedo. Fucking bully. Bully, bully. God. Happy bully. Bully. What's the conditions? Well, so the place is so early when you have to protest. You allowed everyone into the middle, and then you you nicked them. You didn't let people know they weren't allowed in the middle. Well, I can't speak for what I've done today. I don't know what's happened behind me. I've got eyes in the back of my head. Do, do you think this amount of police presence is needed for today? I'm not going to answer any of your questions. I'm just, I'm just asking, you'd have to answer. They lured everyone into the middle and then they started nicking them. Yeah. How do you feel about how peaceful this is compared to what we saw in, in Leeds and people burning vans? It's been people are just fed up. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing. We, the police won't save us. We've got to show our frustration. There's nothing else we can do. We're not being violent. People have just had enough. I always thought, though, man, the UK is one of those places that cannot defend themselves. If it's up, if it ever goes to, you know what I'm saying? If it ever gets there or, or, you know what I'm saying? Or, or the criminals get to doing the most, 
law-abiding citizens could not defend themselves. But what have you seen so far that's happened? Police being bullies. Yes. I got it on the arm with a trunking for no reason at all by sergeant. So she asked him what the fuck he thought he was doing. I ain't done nothing, so, you know, what, why are you hitting me? Yeah. Oh, listen, it's all kicking off. People are pushing already, wow. Police are barging. Big ruckus. There's a huge ruckus with the police. I saw someone just whack a baton at them. Fucking hell. Beer's been launched. Wow. No, you scum back. It's just all kicking off. People launching bombs. Wow. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy about a riot or, or any type of situation like this? Of course, they know. They know coming in. We can't get all of these people that's doing all of this stuff. But you see all of these police cameras in the back? Oh, you better believe they got a few people filled in rooms. After all of this settles down, they're going through this footage and grabbing everybody that did anything. Which is more than... Obviously, that's the reason why y'all mad. They didn't, they didn't put that much effort into stopping what was going on when it, when it needed to be stopped. But... A flashbang just landed right by my foot. That was fing hell. What's that sort of out? Yeah, beer bottles getting thrown. Pushing and shoving. I feel like the police just being here, just antagonizing everyone. I think. My bad, I didn't know what they were saying. <laughs> the melody was just. If they weren't here, it would have been peaceful rally of people. To... I hear a lot of Tommy Tommy. It's chanting, but now it's going to turn into this. Yeah, he's got his recorder sticking through that. Like, yeah. like, pick you up from there and it's done. And the people here have all been locked in. We can't actually get out. There's been like a big line of police. I will ask this question. Was Tommy talking about this? Because like I watched some Tommy Robinson stuff, but like some of it came off a certain way, but some of it is having a little bit of relevance right now. I'm not even going to hold you. Uh, this is... Uh, some of it is having a little bit of relevance. You're not vetting people and, and you're letting in criminals from others. The criminals there, they're going to come here and be criminals. Because honestly, I'm going to be real with you. The UK is sweet compared to where they're coming from. <laughs> the laws in the UK, the, the, the sentencing is, is sweet. This is in the front of me and to the side. This is how the police treat I'm them. I'm talking about on the government side, not on the people side. I'm talking on the government side. They, they do stuff that there's no real consequences. Public. Treat yourself like scumbags. Treat yourself like scumbags. Where was this in Leeds? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. They fucking run away. Look how they treat us. Why are they, do, why are they doing it differently? Why are they doing it differently? Ain't fucking right. Ain't fucking right. These people that are coming over here, they're not coming over here working. I've no problem with real immigrants coming over here, real refugees coming over here. These people that are coming over here on the boats, they're, they're, they're fighting aged men. They're not women and children. They're not, they're not refugees. They're coming over here. They're not working. They're taking our benefits. They're taking our national health service. National health service. It's not the international health service. There's no problem with that. And now, three children have been, have been killed in, have been killed in uh, South Pole. And the police said us to calm down. Is the situation bigger than that though? Should we be tackling things like knife crime, for example? Knife crime, knife crime, we should be coming down hard on. Anyone that's got a knife and it gets caught with a knife, 
should be locked up straight away. No court process, nothing. Yeah. Should be locked up straight away. But knife, knife crime is, is not the real result of what's going on today. This is a this is a, 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 a numerous events that have happened that have built up to this. And as I mentioned, free, free. You know, it's crazy, man. The first thing they say when a black person get killed by the police is, man, y'all worried about the wrong thing. What about black on black crime? See, that this is the same thing. I know he's just doing a, a certain style of journalism where he got to, he's asking for a bigger question. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to get a response. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand that, but like, Nevertheless, though, both knife crime, gun crime, uh, whatever the problem is, is need to be fixed. And it's not like it's going to happen overnight. It's been a, it's like when you gain weight, you gain weight very quickly to lose it. It's a slow process. And all of this happened very, very quickly to, to reverse it. It's going to be a slow process. Young girls, pre-teens, been killed in South, been killed in Southport, and this is what's caused the reaction today. This is what's caused the reaction today, and this is only going to get worse and worse from now on until they start making it, until things start changing. So things have got to change. Who, who's to blame? Do we blame the police? The government. The government. Govern. These police are here today. It's not their. It's not their fault. It's not these police's fault. And what's going on now? What's going on now? What's going on now is a result of the higher ups. These police are here today. Should, should resign. If they have any morals, they resign. Yeah. It's the higher ups. The higher ups that are causing the fucking problem. I guarantee you, some of, some of these police officers will resign after this. They, they're going to be done. That's crazy. Wow, guys. It's, as we're speaking, it's all kicking off. Look at this. Come up with these chants like on the fly, like this. People calling them beyond English as the police almost smirking at them. The main message is that the people feel betrayed by the police. They're swinging back and chucking beer. They're swinging back and chucking beer. All of this excitement that this gentleman has, I'm telling you, man. I think that, like, didn't we watch something before? And that's what them cameras is for? On these police vans and on these, on all all around? Like, they're going to be going through CCTV. Like, look, right on the corner of the building. They seen you. You got them. They think you ain't, you, do you think you ain't see? Do you think they didn't see that? Say yeah, ten points for Gryffindor. If you hear this man. You two, keep in mind, I do not condone this. I'm just trying to get a, an, uh, uh, an educational. <laughs> I'm just trying to get an educational feel for what's going on out here. I just want to know. I don't really see what harm can be done with all the, the riot gear that they're wearing. I feel like this is just the people against the police now. I'm sure the, the parents of the children who were murdered wouldn't want to see this either. I mean, we saw what happened in Southport. The whole area was almost ripped to shreds the other night. And I honestly don't know what's going to happen tonight with London. See, the police don't treat others like this. They do not English. This is our country. They are here to serve. Who are they serving today? I don't think if this was anywhere else, I'd have this many police officers. I think this is quite ridiculous to see how many there are. hundred percent compared to the amount of people who turned up. We've turned up for a peaceful protest and they are the ones who want to antagonize. They're the ones who want to get in between us, push us apart, yeah. separate, divide and conquer. Yeah, I mean, if this was in Leeds, I think they'd be running away by now. Uh, exactly, my man, exactly. But like they say, because the media is here, the, the commercial media, they, they cause... They can't. I'm telling you, it's a show of power. They got to stand tall, especially because this is in London, big metropolitan area. They got to stand tall.
the trouble. So this are uh, the clips that will go onto the news. This is what everybody will see because we're far right. Crazy, crazy, mate. What's happening to this country? What have you seen so far, mate? A bit of carnage, but unfortunately, it's, it's the only way it's going to end. We've done it peacefully, Lou. And it's the only way you're going to get heard now. Nah. What was with the police kind of locking everyone in? It was almost like we couldn't. We couldn't it's just, it's their place. tactic. It's how they do it every time. It's, yeah. it's their protocol. Yeah. I just saw you walk through the police. Do you feel safe being here? I feel safe with these people, yeah. But I don't feel safe any other way. Are they to blame for all of this? Yeah, because they're two tier. If it was Palestine, they, they, they'd be running. They'd be running. Because it's all to do with Khan, isn't it? Because of being Muslim, like Khan puts his out thingy and goes, oh no, let them through, let them through, pat them on the back, tell them it's okay. But when you're English and you're not allowed to be in your own country doing your own thing, that's where it goes wrong. It's two tier policing. It's two tier. Fact is, two tier. This officer in the back has had enough of her. I see. Is that what you're saying? I honestly appreciate it. Yeah? What about for going? What about for going? How long for I get out of here? How long for I can leave this fucking place? So I can't leave. Hey, smash that camera. That's what I'm doing. Everyone run! Everyone run! You're a fat fool. Told you, look. Look, 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 look. First of all, this smile is gonna provoke people. But I told y'all, I wasn't lying. Look, they got cameras. What I'm saying is very true. I might sound minuscule right now, but they're gonna go through all of this footage. All of this footage. They see everybody throwing stuff, everybody doing everything. Body cameras just rolling. That's why they're not making too many arrests. Everyone run! You're a fat fool. Huh? Fat fool. Yeah, well, you're a fat cunt then, anyway. Yeah, you are fat. Yeah, you are fat. Look at your teeth, you dirty. <laughs> Funny, is it? Kids getting killed. Funny, is it? Funny, is it? No, no, you're laughing about kids getting killed, bro. Yeah, you are laughing about it. That's what I'm saying. When you police, you can't laugh at nothing. Not in this situation. You gotta have a straight face. Dirty. Dirty. Taxpayer dirty. Yeah, well done. You're filming all that. Filming all that. Filming him again. Filming him again. Filming him again. Dirty. Dirty. Oh, yeah, step in front of your sergeant major. You're dirty. I know that. I'll pay your wages, kids. Yeah, taxpayer wages. Pay your wages. They shouldn't even reply. They shouldn't even reply. Yeah. Like when he laughed, he said, We pay your wages. He shouldn't have even smirked, said, replied, or nothing. He's, get, he's trying to get a rile out of you and he's succeeding. Just hey, you're right. Right. Hey, listen to you, bub. Hey, listen to you. Let, let children die. You let children die. But then do this against your own country. You're a pussy, bub. Pussy. You do all this. Why can't you do this against... Why can't you all sit on the coast and shoot them all off? Why can't you sit and shoot them all off? Why would I stop talking? Why would I not gonna lie, that's a little extreme. I'll stop talking. Freedom of speech, Steve. Freedom of speech. What do you think about the amount of police presence they have here? I mean, it's dirty, bro. Well, they, they, they can't do this on the coast to not let all the people that kill our kids in, but they can do it against their own country. What about that? I didn't, about that? I didn't see this many in Leeds. I didn't see this many in Leeds. No, where, where was they in Leeds? Oh, where were they? When three girls got killed. Three little tiny girls got killed. And where was you? Where was all of you? Nowhere. Nowhere to be seen. And we saw them run away last time here. This they was at their regular jobs. These look like, honestly, volunteer police. A three-year-old son. You think I'm gonna allow my son to be killed by a dirty foreign that gets let in his country? I don't care about the people that come in and work. Work. But people that come in and you let in his country, they all kill kids. They all kill kids. How's that right? How is that right? I bet your mum's well happy about it. I bet your mum's well happy about it. I've only got a remote. You're a coward. I've only got a remote. Oh, gotcha. You're a coward. Oh, gotcha.
two people are getting arrested over there. And that noise you can hear is still the helicopter that's flying above. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, it must be at least over 100 officers here now. Wow. There's more than 100. I would say there's like three, 200. I, I can see, I can see right now at least 80. And who knows how much more. I see vans, I see other. It's probably like 250. <laughs> Officer, do you feel safe being here? Yeah, I do. Do you? I feel safe. Do you think that this amount of police presence is needed? Um, well, that's not for me to decide, is it? I'm just here doing yeah, my job. Fair enough. What do you feel about the public's perception of the police that you can't keep us safe? Again, I'm just here doing my job. I can't. I mean, your, but your job is to keep us safe. I'm not going to get drawn into the conversation, okay? No comment from the officers, but it's calmed down a bit now from what it was. That's interesting. A lot of them are standing without their body cams on unless they're approached. Then they turn it on. I thought those were supposed to be running at all times, body cams. A couple of 20 minutes ago, but I've seen people getting arrested so they can make arrests to the public, but when people- Well, in fact, none of their body cams are on. I see it, because it'll blink red when it's on. They're getting murdered and stabbed in our streets in broad daylight. They're unable to do their job. And that's why people here today are so angry. There's pain in people's voices. You've got fathers and mothers here. People of all different ages are here today. Wow, so about 10 officers. 10 officers are capturing uh, this guy. Unnecessarily, 10 guys. Stand by! I think that's the guy from earlier. That's gonna raise tensions. Well, I don't necessarily agree with that. I'm just saying that allowing people in when they want to go home, they've made their protests quietly, now they want to go home and they're being corralled in. I think that that's going to create more tension. So some people are trying to leave at the minute and they can't leave? Oh, get out! Wow. Right, so the police are locking these guys in. Have you tried to leave yourself as well? Yes, we've just been up. We've asked several, several people, including this police officer, and we've been told we can't leave. Yeah, apparently we're the criminals, I think. How do you feel about that? I know I'm not a criminal. Yeah, but I think the police think we are. So. I actually think that we are beginning to live in Iran. I think that... that, that no, ma'am. No, you're not. I will say that. No, you're not. No, no, you're not. I don't think that's a fair assessment of the situation, but there is some civil unrest going on for sure. But it's not, it's not, it's not that. The, the, the government is no longer our government. They're meant to be the government of the people. And they're not. They're hiding things from us. They're, they're directing things. Not, they're, they're doing things behind our back that they're not telling us about. Yeah. And tomorrow, I'm sure the headlines will say that everyone... They've been doing that, though. Here's a thug and part of the EDL. Absolutely. I mean, and I definitely know I'm not. Yeah. I mean, luckily, the people are behaving themselves. But this is, I think they're doing it to incite people. It creates pressure, yeah. I think that's exactly what they're doing. I mean, why? So we're just here to make our voice known. You know, we're peacefully processing. And we don't agree with any violence here at all. Absolutely nothing. We just want to raise our voice. Me neither, YouTube. I'm watching this and I don't agree with any violence about our concerns, what's going on in this country, and we need to do something about it. I'm, I'm, I'm so upset with these two, with these three children who have died. Wait, and Keir Starmer up there, he's the one who's done this to this country. He's up this country. He's bringing all the immigrants in here, Muslims, whatever. He's protecting them. What about the police? Should they be protecting the people? No, they just want to have a go at us. Because 49 police officers were hurt last night. Looks like the police are coming in further. I don't know. Mm, that makes sense. 49 police were hurt last night. Wow, wow, this is like a, this is like a game of snake when you kind of block off the barriers. 
Well, look what's happening now, even more. I don't know what, what this is needed. Someone just, something's going on. I can't but help feel this is absolutely disgusting. The police treating the English people who have just actually been standing around, not really doing anything. There's, there's chanting and the singing has kind of calmed down a bit, but the police feel the need to be standing here, blocking everyone in unnecessarily. The police are getting even closer. Come on. Wow, the police are arresting a woman. What's that? What's she done? What's she done? What are you doing? What are you fucking doing? What are you fucking doing? Where were you in Southport? Where were you in Southport, you? Why are you grabbing her? Why are you grabbing her? What have, you, what have you done? What have you done? Nothing! Done nothing like disgusting. Look at this, guys. This is the British police. I'm absolutely positive that one did nothing. I don't know what they're arresting her for. Shameful. Why are you grabbing her? Why are you grabbing her? Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! This is disgusting. Look at that. Three officers trying to grab a woman. One. Well, this is how the British police treat our women. Look at that. It's fucked up, mate. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. I ain't even gonna say nothing. Y'all seen that. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. The police grabbing her in a headlock. Luckily, she was able to get out. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, shit. Whoa, what just happened? What what why did it just go off like that? Absolutely disgusting. The police grabbing her in a headlock. Luckily she was able to get out. What are you doing? Oh shit. Oh wow. Why are you punching? I don't feel like he did nothing. He didn't do nothing else. He didn't do nothing that nobody else wasn't doing. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh! Why? Fucking punching! Why are you punching him? He was doing nothing. The police punching him in the head. That guy was doing nothing. I've seen that? Fucking ridiculous! Grabbing anyone they can. The police are just grabbing anyone. He's at these. You stay free. Back up. We need the footage. The police are absolutely corrupt. Look at them. They got their batons out. I saw a man get punched in the head who was just standing there. Merely a bystander. Wow. I feel like everybody's kind of yelling and cursing out the police. Like, well, just let them go home then. I'm just... oh, 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 oh. That's crazy. They grab him, cover him up with every one of the officers so you can't see what's going on. He's an old man! What are you doing? He's a f***ing old man! What's wrong with you? The police are grabbing people at their will. Absolutely disgusting. Scum punks, mate! Scum! Nicking innocent people for what? Watch what the headlines say tomorrow, calling these guys EDL, all this nonsense. Yeah, they definitely grabbing people. This is the British people standing left and right. This not for their rights. Be crazy. Fucking scum, you should be a fucking shite. Don't fucking stand for us. Oh, look at the face of everyone. Not being violent, just standing here. Yet the police feel it's necessary to grab and punch the public. The other day, children were murdered, and now look at the police. Can't even protect the British public. You've seen all the punching. Do you feel safe now? They went to, they went to pepper spray me down there because I, went, because I went to save a little boy that they were going to mow over. And I was saying to them, we've lost three kids. At the minute, I'm more fearful of the police than any of these guys and women I'm, I've been standing around with. I mean, yeah, the police are the ones we 
be afraid of. We are in. Well, we're in the wrong. We're in the wrong thing. Look, can you see them? Yeah, they 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 pulling us now, closer and closer together. Even on the other side, you still see people who are. Yeah. Well, why are they doing that? This is weird. Like, why are they making the space so small? Like, where are they supposed to be directing them to? Blocked in as well. I don't know when this is going to end. I mean, look at it. Wow. Even on this side too. So, guys, what's going on here right now is going to get worse in the next in the next few years. I promise you, because a lot of these people don't even and. Uh, a lot of these people don't even realize what's going on in, in this country and around the world. Because everything leads back to the cashless system. Everything leads back to the cashless society. Look at the, look at the way they treat this fucking girl. Look, these people are cunts, man. Look at this. Look at the way they're... Grabbing a woman. What, what's the reason? That woman right there was with the other woman that got arrested that did nothing, though. She's been... Aggre not aggressive, but she's been making herself known since that moment, which is perfectly normal. She's upset. You got to have a level of like, okay, these people are upset. We're not even. It's a new come in today. I feel like this is going to turn into a mosh pit in a minute. Yeah, I know, but they, that's why they, that's why they kept losing in. That's why they kept losing in. So, so what's the point of this now? What what is the message? What, what well, everybody want to leave, but they don't want to let us leave. They they're coming up with excuses so they can fucking arrest a lot of us, yeah. and then I mean, obviously it's going to be for the mainstream media. And the, yeah, tomorrow you'll see they're going to twist the, the headlines. As we yeah. know. They got pepper spray. Do you want some of that? No, I'm just a little top of wool. Sorry. 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 Yeah, same, man. Just arrested a, a woman. And look at the press over there. The police let the press stay over there for some reason. Make all the stupid headlines tomorrow. Sick of it! I am sick of being scared every day when I leave my f***ing house just to go to work to earn a living like what you lot are doing. But I ain't got a baton. I ain't got a Taser, yeah, if someone wants to come and stab me, I'm dead. Then what are you lot gonna do? This, yeah, targeting the people that. I'm telling you, man, the general public in the UK, like I said earlier in the video, they have no real way to defend themselves against people who want them to be hurt. They want to protect me. Rather it be other citizens or not. It does, like, it, you can't defend yourself in the UK. Traitors, traitors to your own kind. Say that again, mate. I said we're not far right here. We're just right. That's yeah. all. What's what's the reason for you coming today? I'm from Chelmsford because of the young girls and that, and I've got grandchildren, and I'm here for that. I mean, I'm 62. I'm disabled, but I've, I thought I had to come. You know. Do you feel safe now for your children or grandchildren? No, not at all. We've got no protection. Can the police protect us? No. Prote no protection from the police. None from the government. 62? He don't look 62. I mean, I've never known nothing like it. I'm 62. The Britain's fallen. It's gone. I feel so sad, you know? I really do. It's a sad day. You know? Another one being arrested. Why? Look at that, pulling people apart. This is ridiculous, though. Like, the peaceful protest is over. People want to go home. Now, this is the point of the time where when people want to leave, they're going to start getting angry. What was that all about? I have no idea why they arrested me. Yeah, chicken dog So this helicopter above, I think, is giving messages to the police about who's done what. And he's just referring back to all these officers. I think that's what they're waiting for. It's like a VAR in this scenario, picking out the ones who caused any trouble. Which is nonsense. I told you, it's starting early, but that's what happens when there's when it's riots and peaceful protests that turn bad, that go bad. The, now, now, that's even a step further. The helicopter's in the air watching everything. You grab him, he just did this, he grabbed that, he just did You know what I'm saying? That's how they're going to get everybody. These are innocent people. And I think the general feeling about people is just sadness now. It's not really so much anger and aggression. It's more just sad and shocked at how the police have treated the British public. I mean, the whole argument for most people coming here today was against the police. And this is just another reason to dislike and distrust the police. We even have police officers laughing and joking around. I don't even know what the 
What's there to smile about? So that's, more police officers are coming in. That's what I said. If you're doing this, there's not the time to be laughing and joking. You gotta be straight faced, just out of respect for the people, out of respect for the girls. You gotta be straight faced. And I don't. It's not time to joke. Like I know I have a job to do, but I can do it with with respect. Of the and, and I can do it with the respect of the situation, man. Getting this man for no reason. Got another one. Got this guy. Don't know why. I swear, the bro has been standing behind him for five minutes, didn't I? Look at the police. Wow. They're being told though from the helicopter. Yeah, that's him. He did. Um, he did. I shall get myself arrested because I want to go fucking way now. Unbelievable. Look at these guys. Call themselves protecting the public. Oh, number two, here we go. Who's this guy after? Next one. Officer, when can we go home? What are you doing? Look at this guy. Look at these. Look at the. Look at the. Look at the. Look at Look at this. No, just the other day, these guys were- I told you the only thing that I can think of is why they're arresting them. There could be two things, just because they want to, or they have did something earlier in the day and they found them. Or they played back some video footage, which I told you they got cameras, they're gonna do that. Even if five, six, 10 days, 20 days from now, if you're sitting at home, you're gonna get that knock. That's how they do it. They're running away, look at them now. Picking a, they can arrest people here, but they can't do it in other cities. Only in London the police work. You can arrest British people. Unbelievable. English people, white people. Look at this. He's got a knee in his back. I swear we could have left it at English people. British people. Sit in. Four police officers and one guy. Five. That's it. Well done, mate. Good job, good job. Saving. Get the chest down. That's it, you fucking geezer. You got a daughter of ya? Have you got a niece, a sister, young sister, little baby? Be ashamed of yourself! A, 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 a wife, a sister, a mum, all getting raped all over the country while you can't run away from them. You should be ashamed of yourself! Getting kicked up the arse! Cowards! Big men with old men, big men with one man, ain't ya? Oh, proud of yourselves. Look at this. Guaranteed he next. Five guys, five officers. How are they going to go through life? Scar. One of the teachers have died as well now, as well. One of these days, you're going to need our help. Our help, you're going to you need it. You're all getting infiltrated already, do you not know that? When you get home, watch the thing with Erdogan, the Turkish Prime Minister. Watch, watch what happened to him when they try to overthrow him. You watch it. They infiltrated the system for 30 years and then they try to overthrow him. Point, they need to let these people go home. Am I being detained? Have I committed a crime? I would like to go home. Okay, guys. Unbelievable. Every one of us are sitting over there. Why don't we sit over there and ignore them? Because they work for the state. Let's sit over there and turn our backs. There's no point here shouting at them. Let's sit over there and have a chat. I mean, look at the different people that are here today. Men, women. I saw a few kids, obviously, I don't want to film them, but people. Told you they came and got the next person. What their families. At the beginning, it was majority, was majority men. What if they look here escorting everybody out one by one? Well, as I'm walking away, someone else has been taken away. We I think that helicopter is the one calling the people. Unbelievable. Look at this. Hello. This is the British police. No, no waiting. We've been here for at least two hours now. It's nearly about 9.30. It's 9.30? Well, we're not even allowed to go home. I don't know when we're going home. <laughs> Trying to just arrest people one by one, picking people off. 
see it, two tiers of policing. Yeah. The Palestinian marches can go on. Yeah. And we're standing up for what's happening in this country. I think if we had a Palestinian flag, we can walk out, right? Come on, brother. Yeah. It's not racism, it's the truth what's going on in this country. It's the truth. And now you're stuck to see it yourself. See? You're not even. You look like you're not even apart from this, and you kind of believe. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Trust me. Trust me. Oh, they're grabbing another one. Oh, grabbing. What are you grabbing him for? They're picking the board up. Look at this, picking and choosing people. I think this is a result this of what happened so earlier with all the throwing of bottles and stuff like that. But yeah, look at this, guys. I told you. I told you. Everybody who threw them bottles, y'all was cool for a minute, but they, they got y'all faces. That, that's why y'all corralled. They, they were reviewing footage and getting everybody that did anything. I knew this was coming. The police are working here. They can't work and kids are getting murdered. They can do their job here. Unbelievable. And this one? They want to build up the arrest count. Look at this. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. That's all it is. They're definitely going to get dude too that said, oh, 10 for Gryffindor. Is. They haven't already got Guys, watch the papers tomorrow or today if you're watching this, what the media will say about this. But look, all on camera, how the British police act against British people. After documenting the whole event and standing in the same spot for about 10 more minutes, the police then decided to do this. What are you doing? Disorder. What do you mean disorder, mate? Disorder, what are you doing disorder, arresting me? What you do? For what? But he did nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is wild. Wow. Hey, he's media, mate. Oh my god. Are you joking? Oh. That's that's messed up. We all know watching for a fact, but he did nothing. Didn't throw nothing, didn't do nothing. Oh my god. He didn't even say a curse word, really. If this is not. really random. Oh god. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh, there you go. Alright. You'll stay in your cup. Have you got anything on you that's short? Oh my god. I would have did. Drop my center of gravity. Y'all gonna have to lift me out of here. Oh. Where do we get backup footage at? No cap, man. We respect him for this stuff. I you got all my respect. I can't believe they did this to me. What did he do? Just for that gap on the left, I see. Keep on going, keep going. I haven't done anything wrong. So, allegedly, uh, you've shown violence to the police. I have been filmed by other people. That's what we've been told by our. No, you got the wrong guy, buddy. Okay. You've 100% got the wrong guy. This is an Asian male. There's, there's, he's probably the only one there. There's no messing that up, man. You up? Yeah, I'm suing. No, no, you're under arrest. So you said I can have a bat. Yeah, once you get released from custody. When's that? Here? No, no, let's no, get you over here, yeah? After this, the police rounded up hundreds of people into a courtyard area where they arrested everyone and took their names. They couldn't prove anything, and with so many people, they couldn't send over a hundred to the station, so I was let free. As I'm leaving, you'll see police officers in the background standing next to all the people they arrested, but it's too dark to make them out clearly. Also, I urge everyone if you're new here, compare my video to all the articles you read online and do your own research on how things- I ain't even gonna do all that, buddy. I already know what's going on. I've been doing this for too long. ...are portrayed. And if you like what you see- 
And after they and after them arresting you, that was a bad look. That was a terrible look e, for them. That, don't forget. They get from worst to worstest. To subscribe. Oh yeah, buddy, I got you. Hold on. Subbed up. Hit that like button. Dang, since I started this video, he gained 3,000 subs. Salute, man. This is really good. This is really good. Getting on the ground, getting that groundwork. This is good. Okay. Everything you've been through on this day was worth it. I'm going home. Free to go. Your show was really happening, and you also... You stamped. You got to be out here every day now, though. Everyone has been arrested today. Well, here we're going. The hell is this? Cool. Do I have to walk them into West? Sorry. Do I have to walk them into West? There we go, guys. So been arrested for two hours with the British police and other people are coming out as well. They arrested everyone who was at that protest, man, woman, didn't matter. Oh shit, try not to stack it. And yeah, we're going out now. Oh bollocks. So here we are. Everyone's being arrested. Told to leave Westminster. That was crazy. Free to go. Yeah. Wesley Winter. Where's the winner? I've yeah. definitely seen you, man. Yeah. What happened? Oh, yeah, you definitely seen this. What you got arrested for? Uh, violent conduct, but there was no violence. Just, yeah. You know, cool. just joined in with the, uh, just joined in with the crowd. That was yeah. it. Peaceful protest, wasn't it? Peaceful, brother. Cool. See you later, Protests, mate. Yeah. You too, mate. There we go, guys. People getting arrested. Luckily, I got it all on film. Nothing violent happened. And, yeah. We'll see what's... This is probably top three, top three greatest pieces of journalism that we've seen this year. Top three easily. Good job, my boy. Good job. You asked good questions and you caught everything. You caught everything that needed to be seen. You showed the side that we want to see. Salute to Wesley Winter.